The Idaho College murders and the newly revealed alibi from the suspect. Mola Lange has the details. Good morning, Mola. Well, good morning, Eva. Brian Koberger's attorneys say his alibi will prove not exactly where he was the night of the murders, but where he was not the crime scene. Brian Koberger, the man accused of killing four Idaho college students, offering an alibi, claiming he was in his car when the murders happened. Koberger's attorney saying in a new court filing, Mr. Koberger has long had a habit of going for drives alone. Often, he would go for drives at night. However, he is not claiming to be at a specific location at a specific time and that there is not a specific witness to say precisely where he was. When a defendant puts forth an alibi, it is something or someone that can identify them in some place other than the scene of the crime. In this particular case, his alibi, he was driving alone, does not give a precise thing or person that can place him somewhere else. So that's the question the judge must determine is whether or not that can actually be used as an alibi. Last week, the court required Koberger to state where he was on the night Kaylee Gonsalves Madison Mogan, Zayner Kernodal, and Ethan Chapin were murdered. The defense says they will use witness testimony during trial to show his whereabouts. The defense is attempting to say that they can prove that this alibi of him driving alone can be substantiated by cross-examining witnesses that will be put on at trial. This is contradictory to the fact that typically an alibi is a particular place, an item, or someone that it can identify you at a current place or time. In June, the defense asked prosecutors to turn over cell phone data, which allegedly showed Koberger at the crime scene. They also want to know about evidence placing Koberger's white Hyundai Elantra near the crime scene, along with relevant genetic testing. They say three other male DNA profiles were found at the scene, but the state says Koberger's DNA, taken from a cheek swab, is a statistical match to DNA found on the knife sheath discovered underneath Madison Mogan. Koberger, charged with four counts of first-degree murder and one count of burglary, remaining silent in court, a judge pleading not guilty on his behalf. Well, Koberger's next hearing is scheduled for August 18th. The trial is scheduled to begin October 2nd. The prosecutors say they plan to seek the death penalty, Eva. All right, Mola Lange for us there. Thank you, Mola. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.